very rare mystery clock. It's a mystery clock. From France uh -huh, by so Guillemet. By Guillemet. Could you spell Guillemet, please? G-U-I-L-M-E-T. Oh, I see. This is the so this is the French, the famous French Art, nu Art Nouveau guy. Well, it was actually a, a famous French novelty clockmaker and inventor. He has several patents for mystery clocks. I see. And what makes and this, this what makes this clock such a big mystery? Well, you tell me how the power is getting from those two winding arbors. And well, since this, this is you know a lot more one. about it, you you've probably thought it through more than well, I can in this one second. <laughs> Basically, that's what that's where the mystery is. How does the power get from air and further? How does it turn from rotational power to torsional power? If there's a spring, a torsion long steel spring in here that torsions just like a 400 day clock, and the action of the movement is transmitted through this piece that appears to be solid here, but in fact is not solid. Uh, so it's not solid. So a lot is happening in there. It, so it's hollow and there's, and there's wires in there? Well, or? there's a shaft going up the back, another shaft going into the movement. Uh -huh. The power is transmitted from the movement through those two shafts, through this spring, and allows the torsion uh, pendulum to move side to side. Now, running. now, as a as a novice in such matters, I could not detect the mystery. But, but other people who are very acquainted with such things, they would look at this and they would be stumped. Is that that's, right? That's correct. But these were also at the time, these were made for display items in jewelers' windows because people did get some thought. They're used to seeing conventional pendulum clocks where the pendulum is actually hooked to the movement. Sure. Well, clearly this pendulum is not hooked to the movement at all. That's right. Well, it takes a very discerning eye to even come to the, the realization of that, that that is happening. I, I, I think there are a lot of people out there that given a few moments will... Who are mechanically inclined. Well, they're going to want to know how the power gets from here to here. I think that's a normal question. I bet if you were to ask most women, look at this clock, and tell me what you think is unusual about that. I don't think if you asked a thousand women that you would get one who would uh, say, oh, I think, I get, think get zoops. I'll take that bet. At this show, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, uh, how old did you say this was? Well, this is about 1885. About 1885. And how much would it take in cold cash to get it from your hot little hands today? This is the price. And. Uh, so it would take a, about $23,500, and how long has it been in your possession? Oh, about five years. About five years, and what is your name? Jim Cipro. Jim Cipro, would you spell uh, the last name? I got Jim pretty well. C-I-P-R-A. Well, great, fantastic.